All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab is in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got a very, very special video for you guys right over here on the table. I got four Holt Blade Works knives and I, and I mean, I'm speechless. And uh, first of all, I need to say a huge shout out to my buddy, um, Steven. Uh, he is uh, just being incredible, sending me uh, these four guys right over here uh, on the table for me just to check them out and share my impressions with you and uh, give you a quick overview of the current state of the offerings of uh, Holt Blade Works. And they have been making knives uh, since a, a little bit. Uh, and I mean, uh, they cranked out four models, which are are gonna be uh, revealed right here pretty quick. In the meantime, I just want to remember you guys to check out fablades.com, see what is going on there. There are some knives, some fidget toys. Uh, I don't know, maybe something you want to check out. And uh, here we are going to check out these four guys. They come in these beautiful pouches, which are embroidered, zippered. Uh, they used to come uh, uh, with like square boxes at the beginning, and then the box became like a rectangle and now the rectangular box became like this uh, pretty fancy pouch which is zippered it's a uh, uh, velvety uh, lined and padded and there's couple pockets uh, one pocket uh, can hold your uh, NFC near field communication card uh, with all the specs uh, of your knife and the other one can just hold the tool uh, with the hex bit to tune the detent uh, uh, of your knife so uh, these uh, are gonna be all the same except for the color for this one but anyways let's take them out uh, because I know guys you want to see yeah, the pouch but let's see what's inside uh, the pouch uh, first guy is going to be this Spectre the second one which is I mean Spectre was the first knife that uh, was released by the holes and then after that it came out uh, the haptic and right after that uh, we get uh, uh, the Morpheus and right after the Morpheus would you look at this we would get uh, here you go right over here the renegade uh, guys so here we have like a nice uh, overview of these four offerings from Holt Blade Works uh, pretty cool it's pretty neat to see the four models right over here in this case we get to see a v4 spec we get to see like the latest editions i mean this is like a liner lock because uh, at the beginning specter was made was released as a frame lock and then on the v4 it became a liner lock and that's fantastic so right over here you get to see four liner locks and uh, in this very case uh, you get to see uh, not just some regular liner locks but just some fancy liner locks and uh, for example i don't know let's just start uh, with this specter right over here would you look at this guy this is a titanium handle with burnished in the nude uh knife basically you get uh, uh, titanium burnished in the nude clip the blade in this case is a magna cut and it's marked up right over there this action by the way is just spectacular you get some carbon fiber purple haze set of uh, inlay only for the show side I would love uh, some uh, uh, inlay, even if they are raised and not mid, I would take them gladly also on the lock side. But anyways, this is just a fantastic one because the extra thickness just adds a little bit of beefiness into the handle, which is just spectacular. And did you just notice this action right over here? Just uh, ridiculous, guys. This is ooh, so good. Uh, I mean, prestige specter right over here. You have a checkered pattern and burnished uh, titanium handle and anodized gray, not in the nude as the spacer, uh, pocket clip and uh, hardware. You get some uh, gray anodization, which is just spectacular. Ooh, that's sweet. This haptic right over here is the second model that was released by the holes and uh, 
In this case, we get, of course, a prestige haptic. Um, the main thing is that these handles are made out of zirconium with a feather pattern and the zirconium is polished. There's no colors right over here, but you do get some black tie masks. Pocket clip and spacer, of course. And you get a Dama steel Heimskringla pattern blade. I mean, this is just uh, the perfect haptic, I would say, because you get a little touch of fanciness on the clip and on the spacer, but keeping it like monochrome, love it, because it's gonna match with the Zirk polished, which is a subtle, so you have to hold it in your hand to realize, oh, this is actually zirconium, it's just not uh, polished uh, titanium gray anodized. Nah, 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 nah. We are talking about Zirk right over here, which is probably my favorite material, especially, I mean, on a knife, it's fantastic to have Zirk, but especially in fidget toys, you know, something like that in Zirk is just spectacular. I love it. Um, and in, on this haptic right over here is just wonderful. This is a ridiculous action, ridiculous haptic. This is a uh, specter. Uh, it's this one. This is spectac spectacular. I mean, it's fantastic. Haptic. I love them. Next up, it came the Morpheus. This Morpheus is also a uh, prestige liner lock. Um, obviously, like you can see, the materials employed are top notch, first grade. You get also a titanium handle uh, with the dragon scale set of milling. Would you? Just admire that. The clip is Timascus heat anodized. The spacer is just titanium anodized. But you see this antiquing going on on the scales. This is a burnishing dual anodization 25 and 15 volts. Look at this clip, it's gorgeous. Uh, the pivot also just stunning. You have a Dama Steel Odinheim pattern going on for the blade, flat grind. Uh, so you pretty much get uh, in the Morpheus, you get uh, a handle which is similar uh, to the haptic, but you get a blade which is more similar to the Spectre, but in a smaller package than... It's kind of like if the Spectre and the haptic had a baby and the Morpheus was... Uh, uh, the result. Um, so pretty, pretty cool. And of course, by the way, uh, almost uh, uh, forgot to show you the detail of this wood inlay, which again is raised. Yes, there's no milling. Yes, but it lets you uh, admire the grain going on on the wood. And uh, it just adds a little bit uh, more of beefiness to the handle, which I appreciate. Flat grind, pretty cool. I would have loved, of course, the inlay. On the other side, I'm a sucker for inlays on both sides. Like, for example, I know it would be like something like that. You get just an inlay on the back. Um, but I understand that that is a frame lock and this is not a frame lock. This is a subliner lock. So already milling this side and already allocating, uh, milling the internals uh, of this scale to allocate the lock. It's already incredible. So this part is going to be pretty thin to allocate another inlay. I get it, but maybe, and I mean maybe in theory, you could just do the scales a little bit thicker, just a tiny bit thicker, and then uh, just have a little bit thick, more thickness coming out from the inlay and just have a little bit less pocket. You know, there's there must be some way to uh, figure that out and have uh, an inlay on the back. Maybe, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I would love to see that. Uh, wink, wink. And... Uh, um, after these three beautiful releases happened, uh, this uh, also happened, and this is a Renegade. Again, liner lock um, version, and it's a complete departure from the uh, classic design language that we uh, have been, that, that holds uh, 
uh, you know, made us used to because this is very similar design language and here there is a clear departure. Uh, there are some uh, uh, elements uh, that are distinctively different than these, like the edges, the, the, the contouring and also the milling, if you look, it's very unique. Uh, nothing that is reminiscent of the previous versions. Uh, right over here, of course, again, we're talking about a prestige uh, a uh, renegade, not just like a peasant one. And this guy is sporting, as you can see, a pretty fancy clipping black Timascus, which is matching this backspace right over here. You have M390 hollow ground blade, which is, uh, um, has been stonewashed. There's no colors like uh, in any of these guys. So you can see, that uh, it's a pretty consistent set. There's no colors. Uh, they are all liner lock. They are all different uh, uh, milling. The uh, pattern uh, on the blade. I mean, two damas steel and two non damas steel. You get to see um, that the uh, there's another departure in the evolution of the design on the pivot design, which. Uh, is not circular anymore, but it's trilobate, uh, if I can say that word, um, throughout the, um, you know, all the versions. And uh, if we check the spine, like on this, uh, from this perspective, I hope you can see that the backspacer progressively got shorter. If you remember the uh, beginning Spectre had a longer spacer and then the haptic shortened it uh, and uh, of course very small in the Morpheus and huge on the Renegade. The uh, jimping also got progressively finer and in this case probably it's the finest one and uh, I would say that uh, uh, use wise I would say oops the um, Probably the haptic is uh, the grippiest one and the renegade is the nicest uh, looking one. Uh, from the clip uh, side perspective, uh, we can see that there was uh, uh, a very, uh, you know, it's pretty much the same clip between haptic and uh, uh, renegade, uh, sorry, Morpheus. Pretty much is a mini knife, you know, handle and blade kind of right and um, so and then there is a departure again to the more I mean not departure but maybe going back uh, to the specter kind of more straight uh, and streamlined uh, uh, kind of pocket clip right there um, the other difference uh, that I would say probably I mean in the uh, inside uh, we got uh, uh, from these four uh, ones I mean it's pretty much the same inset lock, uh, just a li some little tweakings, of course, refinements. Uh, and if you see the Renegade, probably I would have to say it has the uh, most attention to the detail inside and outside and the uh, intricate milling, the hollow grind, uh, the fine. I mean, they really refined the design, uh, the design uh, big, big time uh, with the with the Renegade. You can see the evolution. You can see that the tolerances are getting progressively tighter. Uh, even if this is like a newest release, these are all actually uh, 2023 releases. But uh, uh, they are they I mean, it's a great example of the evolution of a company and uh, how a company can improve the design and the features and uh, just getting they started with this which is a truly iconic knife is one of my favorite knife actually if i would have to pick one of these probably would be this one yeah call me nostalgic call me old school call me grandpa i love the specter it is uh, uh just a sleek design it's just like perfect for me the haptic is a fantastic one the size the pocketability super edcable the morpheus it was just the perfect evolution the natural evolution uh, from these two guys having a baby and making like 
one of uh, a really i mean a cool edc one super slicey and then the evolution to a, a more technologically advanced uh, uh, nicely hollow grind the action on this one is uh, like this i mean you can tell that these are really high-end high-quality knives guys uh, uh, nothing wrong with that uh, it's they're expensive of course yes but there's a lot of things going on into uh, making these feathers guys this is crazy it's uh, even if you are like a little bit fidgety um, like uh, I am you're gonna have a lot of fun with these guys because yeah they're just uh, they're just very good so there you go you got the Spectre, you got the Haptic, you got the Morpheus, and you got the Renegade nicely lined up on the table for your viewing pleasure. So there you have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.